Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another skins and map video. Uh, today we decided to um, wear the skins of the uh, League of Legends champions that we'll be going to cosplaying at PAX this year in Melbourne. So um, Marnie here is going to go as TPAS and I'm going to go as Heartseeker Ash. Uh, so, Manny, do you want to just tell us how you went about making your cosplay outfit? Hey guys, um, so yeah, we're going to PAX as, uh, as uh, Ash and, uh, or Heartseeker Ash and TPA Ezreal. Um, I'm going to be TPA Ezreal. Um, most of the items uh, we purchased using, like, I got bought a jacket and pants and like belt and stuff. Um, some things I had to make, the most notable thing, as everyone knows, with TPA Ezreal is his foam hand. Um, so I made the foam hand uh, using, a, it was foam, wasn't it, Shikri? No, P PVC? PVC? Yeah, it, it was PVC. Um, we, we made it a bit thicker by putting some cardboard in there. We used the cardboard that's in, um, you know, we've got like 24, ca 24 packs of like Coca-Cola in that. And um, so we got, that gave it a, gives a bit of space in the middle where you can put your hand in. And then we just like painted it and uh, we'll glue it together and then painted it white and the red outside. And I um, got a, got a um, picture of the TPA uh, uh, Assassin's logo. I printed that off and then like glued it onto the hand. Um, but uh, the, the, the Heartseeker Ash one is definitely more difficult, a much more interesting one. So, uh, Trixie, why don't you tell us how you made your, uh, your Ash costume? Okay. Um, well, I... Um, well, in order to make my bow, I actually went and got a um, foam board... So it's like this hard um, material, um, and um, I cut out the shape of the bow. I actually drew it on initially, and then um, just to make, give it a more 3D effect, um, I uh, stuffed stuffed more <laughs> foam foam material that's soft and squishy in between the two boards just to give it um, that 3D feel to it. Um, and then I just used spray paint to go over the top of the um, material um, and then as for like the rest of my um, costume uh, it was just a bit of getting all the materials together drawing the shapes and sewing it I recommend using a sewing machine rather than sewing by hand because it's a lot quicker um, yeah and just there's a lot of super gluing and double-sided sticking tape sticky taping involved too but um yeah, we'll definitely be putting up some pictures or some videos of the um, cosplays um, on this channel. So just keep watching. Um, do you have anything else to add? Uh, um, not a lot. Yeah, just watch out because we're going to um, do some videos of our costumes. Hopefully um, we can put some up on um, you know, on YouTube for everyone to view. Uh, this is my first time cosplaying, so I'm, I'm really new to it. And uh, Trixie's taught me a lot about making costumes. Uh, Trixie, what other costumes have you done in the past? Um, last year when I went to PAX, I um, um, cosplayed as Blood Moon Akali. Blood so, Moon Akali. Yeah, I, le I learnt quite a bit from that one. Um, trying have you to done... be more creative. And I've been to, um, when I went to, what is it called? I think Supernova in Sydney. I went as Headmistress Fiora. So, <laughs> oh, so you've done a few a uh, few cosplays before already. Yes, it's actually it's quite fun. So, I am um, looking forward to this one. It's going to be big and epic. Uh, excellent. I'm sure the viewers will uh, will be looking forward to our to our cosplay videos when we got them done. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, thanks for watching. Um, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys.